Hey, hey there, Capricornicus. This is Joy with Joy of the World here to take an intuitive peek into the energies going on around you. Friends and subscribers, welcome back. And if you're new to this channel, click that subscribe button down below, baby. It is free as always. And if you would like to be notified anytime I post new videos, ring that little bell out beside it and they will let you know. So friends, as we know, Big Papa is coming this week to talk. Last week, he showed up with his presence so that we could get adjusted because a presence like Saturn is huge, especially when we understand what he's been teaching me is his dust, the rings going around, is all the giftings. It's all this cloud, this profusion of love that he has for you. He's been paying attention to you in your life, gathering up your dreams. He's like the dream weaver. He is the creator of all time, okay? And he slowed it down so you could walk it through and enjoy pleasure. Pleasure associated with Saturn, we cappies. We know that's true, right? He's the one that has that fantastic library that when we go in there to study, we lift aside a certain book and boom, that secret chamber opens and we're like, whoo, I didn't know it was gonna be all this extra, extra surprise, extra fun, awakening our curiosity. That's why he tethers so well with Jupiter because curiosity is that thread that opens up the expansion of Jupiter so that we are receptive to the incoming energies. And Big Papa has an incoming energy he is bringing in. Can you read those fancy words? Two of cups right there. He's opening the channel of love for you. Now, this week, it's pretty tricky because this morning when I was doing my channel drawings, I do this a lot, which they might be for sale in the future as personal readings, right? That you can select from different topics and categories and have one sent to you so you can color it and create an altar card for you because they are energy sessions that transform your life. In, in up to a year's time, okay? So when I did this, he had something to say and he said, see where I go from here. And I didn't know it, but when I was cleaning up after the November 8th through 14 read, I was chatting to a friend who was staying nearby. She had dropped in for a minute and I'm shuffling. Big Papa got put away and I was like, ah, oh, Big Papa, where'd you go? Because there was one card left out and it was called Lightning. That was the energy body coming forward. It was that energy self, the transmission of Saturn coming through. And I thought, is this really what you meant? And he took my eyes over to that card because what he was showing me here is he's bringing in a flashlight to show us something, to show us the sweet life of our mind, body, and soul, unifying together and coming together into the yoke of life, of easiness. Not, you know, not like cheesy easy, like you miss all the good stuff. Big Papa, he ain't about that. He's about shortcuts, not about short change. He is not going to short change you. He wants to bring in the fullness, exponential power. Ooh, there's your exponent, baby. Mm. Cappy's like that because we are a dual power and a dual energy that's often overlooked. We're not just a goat, everybody. We're a sea goat. We're the full expanse of earthly living from the deepest depths into the water, which we actually do well navigating emotions. It's just rarely do we find someone that we could trust to go the full length with us so we don't disclose often. That's why we can seem aloof and disconnected. We're fully unconnected, but we're like, are you fully connected? Are you connected? Now, Hartford Coats, my friend, are you connected? I know you are. That's why you dance around this channel with your divine energy blessing us. I see you, Big Papa Saturn. Okay, so with all that, we're stirring up the stars. We're stirring up the delight in our eyes. We're causing ourselves to effervesce. He has popped the top. He has opened what? The channel, the jubilee the divine pleasure, the everlasting flow, the river, the head source, the, the living waters. Um, you can also check out the Magic Monday for that, where he talks about opening up the living waters and moving us into our new our new divine body. Our line may have going from the 200 years of earth to the 200 years of air, which is going into the 5G and all these new technology transmissions and things like that. But it's also thinning a veil and opening us up more to the direct communication of the planets, which I didn't know when I started this channel. I didn't know what they were telling me. They're like, Joy, we're ready to speak. Mm. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Well, let's see how it goes with all that. But I love that they're answering my prayer. For years, um, 18 years ago, traumatic brain injury, skull fracture, all that kind of goofy, horrible, nasty stuff, brain on fire, all these things, really rough. And I kept asking, give me a body that can handle this. If you're not going to take that energy away from me, you're not going to take that um, level of capacity away from me, then upgrade my body upgrade the channels like the fiber optics the wires the things like that that the breakers you know like you have in your house to be able to capacitate and marry and match together oh perfectly 
your perfect match. Let me write that down, baby. Okay. Thank you for waiting on me. Your perfect match. These are channels, and so when I'm talking, I cannot listen. If this is open, these are closed, and I'm, when I'm done, I've been through so many paths that I'm like, whew, what do I tell them it's about? I don't even know, but see, let me see. Your perfect match, bringing in your perfect match. And the neat thing is, is, is we can, a lot of times, the moment I start talking about you and talking about the blessing of you and the harnessing in you and the uplifting of you and bringing in the dreams of you, it can be like, what? Let me go tune into another one that tells me what's coming my way and who's going to make me happy. And this, that, that takes the power out of your hands and talk about power, kapow, right? And he's bringing all the giftings, all the dreams with you because that is what is in his ring. All these missed opportunities, all the things, all the inklings of your heart that you couldn't even put words to, that you've experienced over and over and over again, desiring and dreaming, and you couldn't divorce them from yourself, from your belly, because they are innately and inherently you. See these golden drops, these orbs, that is the deliciousness, your treasury in your body and in your belly. He has had his eye on you, and he's telling me to get you a color card because of it. Ooh, baby. Be persistent. Look, that's that F of S coming on up. Mm. That's, that's some of this, right? Okay, Big Papa. Let's get our color card. I see you right there. He's bringing it back. He's bringing back the plasma from the November 8 through 14 read. And that's the, they're all eternal, no matter what. Okay, they're timeless reads. But those are dated so that you can see some of the energy coming in specifically for that week. But this is coming in for you, coming alongside. They're marrying together that energy. That is the plasma of awaken your empathy. And this empathy is for yourself. Soften to yourself, identify with yourself, look to give yourself a helping hand, look to give yourself the advantage of what your chart affords you. Coming in conjunction with the eye of God, with these powers of the planets. It's not like, oh, I've got a bunch of squares and that means life is going to be hard. And you know, when I've had my chart read Vedic and Western, <laughs> your ears would fall off if you heard all the horrible things they said about my life that would happen and that that's all it would ever be. But I believe... All that we know is all that we'll ever see. And so when they said that, I was like, oh, goody, they're telling me what, what the battle action is. So now I can get myself together and look how to hop, skip, and move all around this, right? So that's why we're a facilitator of inspiration here. We're a facilitator of bringing it forward because where we have two together, if one falls down, the other one can lift us up, right? And we come along and, and here, I got your back, baby. I can see what's going on behind you. I can be like, oh, you got some lint on here. Let me get that off. Or you got broccoli up in your teeth. Let me help you out for just a minute, right? And I would want the same with me, okay? I really do. I love that kindness that you would afford to have share your perspective with me. But it's leaving behind the lone wolf, the lone ranger, which Cappies have had to deal with a lot. It's not that you're just aloof and cut off. You're just used to asking over and over again and not getting the help or the comrade or the company or the whatever because people are like, whew, that's too much, too far, too hard, too this. And you're just like, toot, 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 toot. The only two you've had in your life is the T-O-O. -O. People telling you too much, you think too much, you want too much, you give too much, you're too serious, you're, you're too this, too that. And, and you're like, okay, fine. I'll be too all up by myself. But now he's changing, striking that O and putting a W over it. The W is when you become whole. What? The whole wide world. What are you wanting me to get? The whole wide world. The whole wide world. I'm calling this. Okay. So the whole wide world and this two of cups I find you. Thank you. Ooh, mm, magic, sparking you off, sparking you up, all of that. He's like, consume yourself. Taste yourself and see that you're delightful. Taste your bounty. Taste the abundance of who you are. Bringing in the sweet light, this divine magic, and that's, that's transferring us and channeling us down into the hummingbird. Okay, hummingbird, butterfly, sweet nectar of life abounding. That thing where now you're not having to do all that up and down, up and down. You're now joining and coming alongside the rest of the world. What you could do in, in uh, depth now, you can now do in expanse and breadth. Okay, so it's just going to be a transferring and a channeling for it and moving all around that you'll be like, He's like traveling. He's like, baby, you'd be goldenness. You'll be traveling at the speed of light. They'll just see a streak of light like shwoom. Like Yoda, if Yoda had a sword, Yoda's sword would be yellow. It'd be the goldenness glow glowing all up just like you. And that's the tip of the sword pointing it straight at you, anointing you, blessing you, choosing you, calling you forward. Choose yourself. Choose yourself. Choose yourself. Pick yourself for your team. That's what you're telling me. Look at yourself and be like, you 
You and y'all know I sit on the other side of this lens, so I'm gonna have to see me looking at me saying the same. I pick you, I choose you. Everything about you, exactly the way you are, your fantastic, magnificent self, you are divine. And I love you. And I appreciate you. And that brings in this doubling effect of yourself, this exponential factor of who you are, because you're finally on your side, you're on your team, not just in the goings and doings of, of the ramblings of earth energy, but now coming into the state of the plasma. Because this plasma has to do with that egg, that body of light, that beingness, this glow all around us of when our sun and our moon are aligned, we are in our amness, not our beingness. Beingness takes conscious effort. And that is based on our perspective at the time, which if we're having to do that, we're in projection, not just uh, uh, perception, okay? But when the sun and the moon align, we see clearly. And those of you who've had the veil stuck in between this last week, that veil is being pulled and lifted off so that you could see clearly. You had the pure heart, but that was for those of you who were called to step forward and to lead, to initiate and to head out and to break open these waters for other people, all right? So you had to have an added level of strength. That's why you had so much failure, false endings, uh, empty promises, um, dead ends, broken dreams, all of that. It's because you became so strong and confident, courageous that you saw with an eye beyond the eyes. And they're telling me you saw with these eyes. The, the, the divine partnership for otherness, all right? You had to reach out to the cosmos well beyond you. This spiraling effect, reaching and growing and extending, that you created the stairway, the pathway, the bridge, the highway to heaven, that whole thing. And this one, this heaven goes well beyond our mind. It goes beyond Pluto out into the depths of the cosmos where all of life, all of light originates, okay? But we have to go through the darkness to get to the other end of the light so that we can bridge it. And then that becomes our eye of God, our map. We've moved all the way around through our spiritual genetic DNA, you know, mapping our soul and understanding ourselves. Like when a baby first comes into this world, they, you know, they're hearing language and absorbing it, but so much more is through their experience, right? They, they touch, they taste, they move it around and they're mapping it. Just like a person who doesn't have use of their eyes, they'll feel with their hands, they're mapping it and they're putting it all together. You've been being put together, friend. For those of you who've been called out and have chosen to lead, you're responding with a yes. You're responding with a definite yes here that you feel ready, but you don't know if you're able yet. It's like there's one little thing holding back your feet here. And our feet have to do with our beauty. The beauty hasn't risen all the way up. It's still in a slight cylinder, in a veil, in a tube, a shaft. I'm listening, waiting for how you want me to call it forward. Where are you pointing? Okay. <laughs> they say get a pearl. I didn't. When I sit up here, I, they could just, the magic hands could just move it all for me. I could just sit here and flap my little lips and talk to you and blink my eyes. Um, this is exactly what came out. Door to spirit. Look at that facilitating look. So the thing is, is your piece isn't, it's perfect, but it's not perfected yet. It's waiting for just that moment of the perfect inhale. Like, like if you've been down underwater, okay, look at all this, this watery, this, even plasma, right? If you've been down under there, you don't want to grasp for that breath right when you're seeing the surface and your head's about to break, you know, you want to wait until your lips pass the surface of that water and then, boom. <gasps> Fill your lungs with this new spirit, this new essence, and that's what they're saying. Take that breath and take flight. Take that breath and take flight. And they've been trying to talk about stirring up meditations at this channel. If you think that would be a good idea and you would enjoy it, give it a big thumbs up. Um, leave me a comment down below and let me know that you would enjoy that. I've had people talking to me about it and asking me about it, wondering when I'm going to move that way. They said they want to sit and listen to my voice. And I'm like, okay, how do these people know I used to do that, you know, 20 some odd years ago? People drive all the way across town in the middle of the night to come see it and, and do a meditation. So let me know if that's something you want me to open for us, bringing in your power, opening up this door to spirit ushering in your perfect peace. And where is that peace down deep inside of you coming up through your feet, restoring your beauty, your life source, like opening our thymus. Our thymus is this, um, 
this gland that is on you know, young people, right? Up until about 25, that thing's firing and lighting because things are still growing and developing. It is still like a plug and a harness to the full center in the heart of the universe, the heartbeat of life. And uh, then it either becomes inactivated or it shrivels up and dies. Now, the thing is, is he's like, he's wanting to bring it back in. There's some golden channel of light. The golden channel of light. Which one are you? Here. Let's open up the golden channel of light. Find the star. Find the star for Cappy here. Who's the star? Where's the star? Find the star. Where? What are you doing? There you are. Indigo. Okay, so it is still fluctuating. Indigo is a fluctuating color, all right? That's why indigo suffers so much. They're, they're fluxing between the two because it's slightly unstable and it needs to be brought in with support and strengthening around to stabilize and, and to clear the residue of the past genesis to come in fresh and new, the washing of the waters. The washing of the waters, the having of the back. So this... They're telling me is interrupt. These are interrupting and breaking them up and actually bridging them back together. Bringing them back together better than ever is what you're saying. So it's going to be unifying this energy with this energy. This is earth energy. This is Metatron coming in with the state of sandal font. Ooh, baby. That's a mouthful. Mm, if you knew what I knew. And I could put it into words, but it wouldn't be the same as the knowing on the inside. It's always coming in in the underlying currents of whatever we say and do here at this channel, though. I can tell you that for sure. But that brings in the ultimate jubilee. That brings in here, it's talking about improving your vision. The perfect earth order. So it's, it's you're telling me it's the perfect latch and full on locking in of the connection between heaven and earth. That it's no longer heaven or earth. It is and. The and is the full on connection. It's the conjugation. It's the inseparation, inseparable. Some of you, it is a genuine love mate that you'll be inseparable with. And they have me keep reiterating it. This especially in Capricorn. For many of you, the reason you'll be able to move forward instead of the up and down, back and forth, the big expanse, is your perfect partner's coming in, right? You know, what do we call it? Your perfect match, and it's another Capricorn. Sun, okay? I don't know why they had me give you the serious eye bull man. I'm like, oh, Joy, back up. And I'm like, I can't. When they're doing this, I don't know what to do. And that's bringing in the thinking man. Ooh, man. Mm, mm. Mm, Shazam, to quote Gomer Paul, let me tell you right there, you want to know why I'm going to show you in just a second, 46, this person's a perfect 10. I'm not selling love here because the thing is, you happy all with yourself, that can be your love too. But most of you Capricorns, remember it's been T-O-O -O for so long, it's time to be T-W-O. It's time. It's time for the harnessing of that and the channeling of Saturn. You will, you'll see why. Okay. This is the planet. This is what we've learned to work with and divine with our whole life. This is the power that we go and live and breathe and move in. It is more than anything we could say. We don't have to be verbose as Capricorns, right? We have a knowing, we have an assurance, and we have a confidence and a string that is unmatched in what we do know, okay? And so this is talking about that knowledge up there. Well, that's him. Well, look at this earth person coming on in. Let me tell you whether you're a man or a woman, Capricorn, this is that person, all right? I know it looks like, look like a man on the page. It is a person. But look at this reiteration. The dividing of the mind, they're coming together. These are like y'all trying to come together and make your way to each other as you look for the divine union. That's what eternity is. It is the full completion. It's no longer just like people that's two people merging. It's not. It's just like this card over here, right? It's just like they're telling me, Joy, you didn't put it back right. I'm like, oh, excuse me. It's that. Okay, it's this energy and this energy and the ampersand, the connection in between the relationship. Okay, Th say this is you and this is them or vice versa. And that's the connection. The relationship is the third party. You want that. You want it to have its own entity, its own being. It is this door to spirit. That's it. Oh, pssst. And the, uh, where I set it down, the hummingbird's point. That's what's coming in, Joy. That's what's coming in. <laughs> this relationship. Is coming in. Y'all are funny. I love you. They're asking me to get a card from my new deck. These are the ones I've waited for. Y'all have prayed and blessed them and worked all over them and spent time getting to know that's not moving any further. 
with them. Mm -hmm. Talk about a divine to a divine partnership coming in. Mm -hmm. It's just like, uh, it's, it's unseemingly almost of sorts. So it might be somebody you never would have ever been drawn to or have seen in that way or would have thought in that way. Or you're like, oh, that's not usually my type or my style or my whatever. But it's showing up like Jupiter and Saturn in the sky. They've had this divine dance and this divine marriage and this divine purpose of each having their complementary energies. It could seem like competing, but it's really not because I'm a massage therapist. I understand the body and you have the agonist and the antagonist. And I'm going to drive this home with you guys till you know, in order for one to work, the other one has to resist. That's like a pulley or a cable. That's how we do it. That's how our bodies even move at all. That's how we navigate about life here, right? So that's what y'all are. It's complementary, just like Jupiter and Saturn coming in. That's what's going to go on here. And I remember meditating over this card when I was looking at them and going through them all. They're saying, pick the white. And the thing is, because white contains all the colors. You know, it's, it's like, you know, in the center of your heart, the pure heart, go for the pure heart. Not just the thing that titillates that or stimulates that or they press this button or they check this box for you or whatever. It has to do with like, oh, you're showing me this. How their spirit moves your heart. That pure white heart, that pure spirit, just like this hand, this hand of the spirit of the navigation, because spirit is the breath that joins the two. It is this energy that moves the water and the waves and the ocean. So maybe check out the song. I've been trying to figure out how to make a post to my subscribers, but it's called No Ordinary by Labyrinth. That's beautiful. It's magnificent. It's a lot like this. Hey, here comes your perfect match, Cappy. <laughs> wing. <laughs> I love you guys. Hey, check out the other reads. Check them all out. You're the whole Zodiac. You know what I say here. I check out the Monday, the Fridays, the whatever's. Give me thumbs up. Give me comments down below. Give me compliments down below. I don't even know it. Just show some love. Share your life with me as I share my life with you. I truly, truly love and appreciate you. Okay. Talk soon. Bye.